Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to understand about cloud masking in OAuth engine. This is an attempt to brief the course, and maybe this will help to grab the basic understandings of this topic, cloud masking. By cloud masking, uh, we mean excluding those pixels, which contain the clouds and the shadows, from any types of analysis. Clouds and their shadows act as the hindrances in the optical remote sensing. For this, um, satellite images are provided with uh, additional band called QA bands. Uh, QA bands um, have the information of the quality of the pixels. Cloud masking in this sense uh, is to work with those QA bands, uh, making a function uh, and mapping over the image collection. Uh, these QA bands contains the information about the clouds and about the pixels. So QA bands in particular have uh, different indicators and values uh, within, within uh, these indicators. The basic concept is to work with those indicators, uh, work with those values. And the other important concept is that everything is happening in the uh, binary values. Uh, the conversion of binary values uh, to decimal values or vice versa happens and we extract those information uh, and the very specific bits are extracted maybe uh, maybe used to mask them. So um, the great thing about Auth engine is that we have the great resources in the uh, left hand side here in the scripts tab. Under this we have the example section. And inside this example section, we have uh, the topic cloud masking, inside which we have uh, six different uh, sets of examples. And these examples can be used for our purpose, uh, maybe adapt and reuse them. So the first example here is about Landsat 4, 5, or 7 surface reflectance. And in this example here, the most important lines are these two lines. And uh, in these uh, two statements, we are selecting this QA pixel. And this QA pixel comes within the um, data sets. In the band section, if we check and scroll down, we have the band here that is QA pixel bit mask. And these are the bits. These are the bits here. We also have QA rat set. This is a radiometric saturation. Here we have different bits. So we are selecting the uh, band here and we uh, work with this. And here we have the parse int and this converts uh, this value into the uh, decimal value. And this bitwise end uh, helps uh, to, to mark those uh, pixels. And this is what's being done. Uh, and similarly, we have the same thing repeated for QA ratchet. This is the uh, next uh, band here. And we are uh, applying the scaling factors. And this depends upon the literature. We are, uh, we are multiplying by some uh, constant. We are adding in constant, uh, each for optical band, each for uh, thermal bands. And we have the function here, finally. Uh, the function is concluded by uh, adding bands. We, band, we add the optical bands and we add the thermal bands. Um, and we are updating the mask here, with, uh, two different masks. And finally, in the collection, we apply the function by dot map, of which we later use dot median values from that. Uh, image collection. And if we run this, we get something like this. So there is no clouds in this image. This is the example. So the uh, most important thing here is going in this two line. And uh, this is the same for Landsat 8 uh, surface reflectance. The same thing has been repeated for this as well. 
And similarly, we have here Lancet A, TOA uh, reflectance. And for this, uh, we have the band that is uh, PQA. And it can be seen somewhere from here, the bands. If we scroll down, we have the PQA. We have different bits, and each bit has further uh, excited, all the values excited. Here we are selecting the um, this band, and uh, after selecting this band, we have this dot bit wise and This is the function um, again to uh, mask those bits. And here inside this, we can see um, this uh, besides this operator here. We have uh, kind of double uh, less than symbol repeated two times, and this is called the left shift operator. And what it does, it it is uh, working to uh, working to receive those uh, bits located at the position four. So as we are working uh, in the bit four, uh, we check that the cloud bit should be off. So here, if we see this again in the bands, in the bands we have here, in the bands here we have the bits full, and the bit full is related to cloud. So we want the cloud to be no, and we want to check that the cloud bit is off. And we want to return the image with the dot opted mask. And this function here, this function mask L8 has been applied by dot map. And we get something like this. And by uh, Lancet A TOA, top atmosphere, uh, this is not corrected, uh, atmospherically corrected. And similarly, we have the example here for multi surface reflectance. And here for this, we select the bit 10 here. This is the same case here. We're selecting the bit 10. And we also are selecting this band called norm observations one underscore one kilometer. And this uh, contains the number of observations for one uh, kilometer pixels. So if we check the Bands here, we have the num observations one kilometer. This is the number of observations for 1k pixel. And the next one is the uh, next one is the bits that we're working with. Okay, here we have the band 10. This is being worked with. And for in this first function, we are Masking those pixels uh, that do not have the observations. And the second function here is to mask the cloudy pixels. And this is what can be done by this, uh, this uh, left shift operator. We're working in the bit 10. And we are opting the mask, similar as before. And these two functions are like here, like by dot map. And um, this example goes further on getting the total number of potential observations and counting those, and also uh, counting the observations after the uh, function has been maxed. So if we run this, we can see it more clearly here. So if we go to inspector here, Click somewhere, maybe. This is uh, further hoping to count those uh, pixels. You can see somewhere the values is 10, 30 here, and the value is 17 in the second case. And this is just doing the uh, numerical calculations or uh, from the from the band 
norm of division one kilometer. So this was the example for the MODIS uh, surface reflectance. Similarly, we also have the example for Sentinel-2. And for Sentinel-2, we have the bands uh, QA60. And here we are working with the two bits 10 and 11. Uh, these are related to clouds and sears. And they are set to zero, meaning uh, we want uh, clear conditions. And we return the uh, masked and scale data uh, without the events. This is the function here. And we see this function um, often used in uh, many works. And this function has been mapped by dot map. And the other thing in the in the Sentinel two case is that we also have the uh, this this comes from the image property called cloudy underscore pixel underscore percentage, and we are setting the value to be less than twenty. So this is the case here. And finally, for uh, Sentinel two, there is also one data set called cloud probability data set, and this uh, cloud probability data set can be used along with other uh, data sets to mark the class. So here we are selecting, uh, we, here we are selecting three uh, different data sets. This is uh, central to level one data. This has to be used to um, select selected bands. This band seven, band eight, band eight, and band 10. Uh, these four bands are to be selected. And we also have the the main, uh, main data set that is single to surface reflectance. And these uh, three data sets are filtered or by filter bounds, filter depth, and, um, and selecting the required bands. Uh, and we have here the function. So joining is a different topic. Uh, this is just to uh, get or retry those, um, those uh, things from different data sets based on certain properties. So this is being done here. And finally, uh, we, are, we are doing the uh, masking here by computing cloud displacement index. Uh, this comes from the LOC bands. So uh, this is the function within the auth engine. And we are selecting the probability from uh, the means. And we are selecting the band 10. Uh, this was done as before, as in the previous example. And we are seeing the uh, multiplying for some scaling. And here are a lot of things going on. For example, we're selecting the values to be greater than 65. Um, so these are uh, going somewhere here. And we also have different workings being done for projections. Um, here we have the projections being done. Similarly, we also have something done for the um, project uh, prediction and shadows. And this is the uh, use of the previous joining. We are joining uh, the two data sets based on the cloud probability. And we are also joining the data sets uh, from the bands. So the previous function here, you can see a lot of things are going within this function. We're selecting, uh, we are computing the cloud displacement index. Uh, we are working with different uh, values. And we are projecting here. And we are also uh, doing select the bands here. And a lot of things are going on this, uh, this function, maybe more. Uh, so, um, surely might be required for this case here. But overall, this is to max cloud and status. This function is being done for that purpose. And here we are finally joining the uh, data sets. And we finally take the median values from those uh, maxed uh, collection. If you run this, something here.
So to conclude, um, a cloud masking somewhat means to work with the bit values. It is actually to work with the bit values. So we work with the Q bands. Uh, sometimes we also have the additional data sets uh, for the cloud probabilities. Uh, so this is the this example here is for that. And um, that's it. Um, I hope this content uh, might have helped you uh, at a very little extent to enhance your understanding about the uh, cloud masking. So for uh, further uh, further uh, starting of this course, they are available in this uh, in this uh, in the example section and you can easily find the course here. And if we if you have any further questions or comments, I can surely ask or write them. Uh, this will also help me to better understand uh, those things. Uh, so I hope this was helpful for you. So thank you for watching. Thank you.